What's up everybody, Chlorine King here. Thanks for tuning in front of the video. I know it's been an extremely long time since I've put out content, but I've been extremely busy. Uh, Chlorine King's been going crazy. We're up to 13 employees now, so that requires a lot of attention in and of itself. But I've also started a couple other companies that have also taken up a lot of my spare time that I have left after Chlorine King. So unfortunately my content uh, production has been down to minimum, but you know, things are starting to smooth out finally. I'm starting to get a little more free time, so I'm really hoping to put out more content for you guys. So, uh, you know, during that hiatus, I've gotten to work very closely with Skimmer. You know, I did a webinar with them recently, and I, you know, we put a lot of feedback into their company to make their software better. And, uh, you know, as my company has grown, one of the main issues I've had has been able to keep track of everything we do with all the employees and all the training opportunities or the uh, issues with employees or, or just whatever the case may be, it's hard to remember everything for every employee when you're yourself is running 100 miles an hour. So a couple weeks ago, I was thinking of how I could um, utilize or hack Skimmer to make uh, employee documentation and record keeping easier and so originally what I was going to do was create just work orders, um, you know, whether for employee coaching or employee follow-up or, God forbid, you have to write them up, employee documentation or whatever the case may be. But then I've quickly realized, you know, if I have all 13 employees under employee training, then I'm going to sift through all the different work orders, see who it was, what we did. Uh, and things like that. So I was like, all right, that's going to be more hassle than it's worth. So then I thought, well, why don't I create a customer profile for each employee, like they're a customer, and then I assign the work order to them, the customer. And so that way, when I need to look back at an employee's file, as far as what we've done with training, has there been um, verbal warnings? Has there been complaints? We could have everything categorized under work orders under their name, to where that way everything's attached to the specific person and not just um, a conglomerate of stuff and we need to figure out who's who. It's all right there organized to the name. So the hack that I want to share with you guys with Skimmer, and I know this feature is not incorporated yet, but uh, I know they're probably going to work on it. I've, I've ran it up the ladder with them and they seem to all really like the idea. So um, here's the hack. Create a customer profile for every one of your employees. And then from there, create work orders that you would typically want to have on file with them, whether it be, you know, employee training, employee follow-up, uh, employee record of conversation, employee documentation, and God forbid you have to write them up. And that way, if you need to go out and handle something with an employee, you assign a work order to yourself and then, um, you know, go out and do whatever you need to do and document it and save it. And now you have a, uh, a recorded action with that employee. Then on the flip side, you assign themselves to their own um, sheet for that day. So then they get to put in their notes on how they saw the conversation go and you can review how they compare. And that way you can make sure they're getting the right information you're trying to relay but also they're able to put their input into the conversation or whatever the case is you're trying to record as well. So that way there's just a, a meeting of the minds kind of thing uh, in that situation. And then from there, you know, you can keep or uh, have a history of, you know, is a technician getting a certain complaint repetitively or are they losing accounts for a certain reason or are they needing to be trained numerous times on the same thing like are they not getting something and then long term you could you'll have that running history but then you could see hey i put in more effort with this employee than others maybe i should you know put some time into that employee that hasn't had as much of my attention or whatever it is so it basically allows you to digitally manage your employees and and just have a history of what you've done so you can see how to make the weakest link stronger to bring ev to bring everyone up to the same level uh, or, you know, does someone need to go move a different direction as far as employment goes because they're consistently having issues and not getting it? Um, you know, again, this is all from just not being able to remember everything. So 
I don't remember what I did two days ago, much less what conversation I had with an employee three weeks ago, three months ago, or three years ago. But with this hack with Skimmer, you can now remember that stuff and not and get it out of your, your mind and, and just let that go. So I hope that that really helps you guys out. It's um, something cool that I'm excited about. And also pay attention, I'm gonna start a Skimmer series or a Skimmer playlist um, on my YouTube channel to, you know, little hacks like this that we've done uh, to, to make, make the software more um, awesome than it already is. I mean, it's a fantastic software, but uh, with these ideas and the more we push this stuff to the developers, the better the software is going to be for all of us. So hope you guys like the video. Stay tuned for more videos. Like, subscribe. We'll see you next video. Have a great day.